What's up and welcome back to another episode of the Movie Newbie. I'm your host, Jibril Sahemi, and this is episode 102. We just did Jules et Jim, and now we're going to go for another theme, but we always leave that for the end. But before we get to that, I got to introduce the two guys, the two legends, the man them, you know what it is. There it is. The experts, the aficionados. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Shabab. I, I, I keep getting the same ones. Um, but that's all right. We like it. Yeah. But we'll, we'll write down a list of new intros. Yeah. Ollie, yeah. yeah, that's my name. Yeah, okay. we've got Ollie and we've got Raf. <laughs> hey. What's up? How y'all doing? Raf yeah. with a with a sexy mustache. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying, yeah. guys. It is November. It is it is November. Also, yeah. I see uh we're back in we're back in the crib. We're back in the crib. In yeah. El Crib del del Jabril. Obviously, you guys can't see us. But welcome to the Yo What's Up show. Yeah. Uh that's pretty I hope usual. you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a good November. Uh this has been a topsy-turvy season you know we've our releases have been all over the place uh we've been Sporadic. trying new things yeah it's been erratic but there's a reason for all of this we had episode 100 come out two weeks ago um i hope everyone enjoyed that it's on youtube if you want to watch the video let us know if you the whole video yeah. edited edited to perfection <laughs> By Jabril, by the man himself. The man can do no wrong. He's he's it's incredible. He just showed a few clips of the video <laughs> and it's amazing. It's hilarious. And we will be posting uh little clips here and there on social media as well. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're gonna try and do. Uh but let's get down and dirty to it. Let's uh, do it. So obviously this is coming out two weeks after episode one hundred, the week after Jules and Jim. But as the day of recording, today is the day, or I think it was two days ago, that the actor strike has ended. That's right. Yeah. After what? How long? I think it was like 111 or 112 days or something. That's I think it's right. the longest. It's his. Yeah. Longest it's, actor strike or longest SAG strike. Yeah. Is it ever or ever, like in ever like, ever? Wow. Because the last one was in the 60s. Um, I think they were on strike in the yeah something like that something yeah. like that yeah. right a, a long time ago and. Um, I well, I'll, I'll describe what the actual you know end of the strike was, yeah. what what the deal, uh, what went down in the deal, and it was the first ever protections for actors against artificial intelligence and a historic pay increase. Uh, the deal will see most minimums increases by seven percent, two percent above the increases received by the Writers Guild of America and the Directors Guild of America. Um, so there is pay increase and there's protection against AI, which is fantastic. I mean, we're not in none of it. Well, only one of us here is really a working actor, but you're not part of SAG because you, know, no. you work in the UK. And I do. You don't work in the US. But for my um, American, you know, compatriots yeah, out I there. Yeah, I wonder, do you actually have, I know you studied with a lot of American actors and have acted alongside Americans. Yes. Do you know anyone who's in SAG who's directly affected by this? Um, not directly. I, there's a few names here and there or people that are looking to get SAG or are waiting, uh, have been waiting because of the strikes to get SAG. Um, there's maybe one or two names, very distant connections that have SAG and that, yeah, they've just been out of work for however many, like a hundred. But it, yeah, the, it, the reason I ask, I suppose, is because we don't know the terms of the deal because we're not sure. in SAG. Um, but from what I can tell, it was... The consensus seems to be so far, this only happened a couple of days ago, oh. that it's positive, that they yes. got a lot of the, um, the, the, the I guess, the, the, the victories or the, the points that they yeah. were gunning for. There were a couple of things they didn't, there's one thing in particular they didn't get, which is they wanted um, a percentage, like a 1% or 2% cut of streamers mm. revenue, yes. which the studios just said flat out, that's never happening. And the studios didn't budge on that. No, which again is bullshit. It's studios. It's it's greed taking over those those corporations. Um, and there's only so much you can cut out of a deal. So, uh, let me just try and understand that correctly. Yes. So that one percent of uh, it's it's streaming royalties or profits? It w- Total. They wanted. I from what I understand, they wanted all of the profits, or at least some portion of the profits. They want to take. They were. They were arguing that they should take one or two percent of that from the top, and it would go into a pool that can be distributed to actors based on as like right. royalties. Or this is all a really replacement for royalties because yeah. okay. Yeah. What well, the whole thrust of this was that streaming has transformed everything, and as such, a lot of the typical pockets by which actors would get yeah. paid disappeared overnight. Because yeah. to put, when I saw, heard this, it was really shocking. So 
back in the old days when you're on typical broadcast TV, you if you appeared in an episode of television, like say you're in an episode of Friends or in an episode of whatever, The West Wing, every time your episode came on TV for a rerun, you could make as much as like three and a half grand just yeah. per time that it reran. And that, and it could rerun dozens of times over a year. So yeah, especially that if you one, get like syndication. And yeah, stuff. exactly. Yeah. So that one that one bit you did can essentially finance your livelihood or, or keep yeah. it going through what were often long stretches where actors well, weren't yeah. able to yeah. work. Well, there's Whereas like now, I think, sorry, sorry you, if you're in an episode of a Netflix show, you might at best get 2000 for yeah. a year of them showing it nonstop on their streaming service, mm-hmm. which is absolutely nothing in yeah. comparison. Because there's that famous story about the kid who did the voice of Simba on the original Lion King. Sure, And yeah. there was the choice of getting like a lump sum, like I think one million or two million or whatever, or get royalties. And oh, I, he, I think he it's picked his the sum. mom. No, no, his mom was like, get royalties nice. because Disney sell albums so you're going to be singing plus you're going to be getting um your voice acting unless they were two different people i'm not sure but there was something to to do with that and yeah that was the only i think acting they've ever done and they've made so much money because of there royalties we, we also have a friend uh that we know quite personally that has um received royalties before and she was on a show uh this this welsh show it's like a soap opera or a sitcom uh, but it's a very, it's like your East Enders, you mm-hmm. know, of Wales. And she featured in one episode uh, when she was around five or six. And the show did a rerun just recently, I think a year ago. And yeah. she received a bit of a uh, bit of money through oh, that. No way. Um, but it is it is it is bullshit what um, the industry has done now. How they've completely cut that, including uh, you know, I, I've been directly affected by this as well because with commercials. They also no longer do that anymore. They just give you a buyout now. Mm-hmm. So before, yeah. back in the good old days, let's say, yeah. if your commercial reran in... And some commercials would run for like two years. On 100%. National. Yeah, yeah. And you would get royalties every time that would run. And right when it's on TV, it would run quite a few times. Right. It could, at least. Um, but now they're like, you know, obviously corporations and studio executives and, and all that, they were like, wait a minute, they're getting way too much money. Like, that that, yeah. that, that can't yeah. happen. So let's just offer them a buyout because like that'll make them think that it's a lot of money, but really, yeah. you know? I, um, this kind of reminds me of, I think it was during COVID when, uh, what's that Marvel Scarlett Johansson? Black movie? Widow? Black Widow. Yeah. So they released that on streaming platforms, although they promised her that it would come out on cinema first or whatever. Mm. And I think it, directly affected her her back end participation yeah and her earnings as well because um, well yeah because she isn't she part suing? of her contract she sued but then she they, sued they, they, i think they, they had settled a settlement. yeah but they um part of her um deal which a lot of the marvel actors had which is that in addition to getting us an upfront fee they get a percentage of the revenue made at the box office right. and then that black widow didn't wasn't was went, went directly to disney plus yeah. because of the pandemic yeah. so it didn't come out in the cinemas and so she lost out on potentially, I think, like twenty to twenty-five million dollars, which is like, okay, you know, world's smallest violin. No yeah, one's yeah, shedding yeah. tears over that. Yeah. But she was making a point with that, which was that the streaming services, yeah, you know, to to make their share price go up, they've poured everything into these streaming services, and as a result, people have lost out on earnings. On earnings, yeah. yeah well, yeah. it's what 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 are they calling it? cable two point basically, right? Yeah, you know, it's like. The same thing again, where it was like all the free channels turned into cable, and then you had to pay subscription fees for all these companies, and then it turned into streaming because like streaming became cheap, and then now it's expensive, and you have to you have to like get subscriptions for every other fucking streaming service. Oh, no, you so. don't. Just I have yours. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, we don't. Do, just, you have, do you have one of Jabril's accounts? Yeah, he does. Have he does. Disney. Yeah, yeah, I Disney. don't know. I honestly, I never pay for Netflix. I don't right. know who, well, who's Netflix yeah. I'm using. Netflix, you listening? Get him. Yeah. <laughs> get him. They're, they're, get they're, him. they're cracking down on password sharing. Oh, they are. They are. Okay. They are. Well, I should refrain from talking. Yeah. Uh, um, I, I'm, I, I need a lawyer. But I am <laughs> planning on uh, like unsubscribing from a bunch of these platforms. I mean, well, Dis- it's mainly Disney because, Plus is kind of shit. Well, Disney. Well, uh, you no, do like you do like your shows, don't no, you? No, no, yeah, but yeah. they have like 
They have uh, Harry the Potter stuff. films. <laughs> they have the Fox stuff. No, they don't have Harry Potter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a throwback no, to. They have Star Wars. They have Star, Star Wars. Wars. <laughs> they have Star Wars. They have Loki. Harry, Harry <laughs> Potter. Harry Potter's on. Uh, what's Harry well, Potter? What is Harry Potter uh, on? Oh, Max. 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 Max yeah. Which we don't have here in the yeah, UK. Which we don't have. Until Bros, yeah, but they have your, your Rogue One, Bob, Boba Fett. Boba Fett. <laughs> I got my Loki. They have Loki. They have all the Marvel. They have the one have Man. Dude, one thing. It's all about Seahawk. The Hulk. The Hulk. Oh, the Hulk. The Hulk. The Hulk. <laughs> bad ass. I'm pretty sure we're offending someone <laughs> with this well, list. Well, offending the list yeah, well, community. Well, I'm saying what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm a Come on. Yeah, the list <laughs> community. Like, what, should be, what should be canceled? That's the, last, yeah. that's the last community that we can make fun of, I think. Yeah, yeah that probably. and the Italians, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can still no, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that to shit on the Italians. You're I'm dead. Saying You're I dead. Heard, I've heard some Italians say it's like, yeah, people just think like Italians are okay to shit on. Everyone else, no, that's offensive. But Italians, yeah, you can shit on. I mean, Italians. I'm pretty sure a lot of people shit on, the, shit on the French yeah, as well. I think if you live in England, it's okay to shit on the French. And if you live yeah. in France, it's okay so to shit on, on the English. English. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. just a natural way of life. This, this is the usual. Yeah, yeah. Um, Where were we? Right. So right. the the sag the sag, sag uh, yeah. after strikes are done, and that is kind of a momentous. Well, because momentous before time. the sag after community went on strike or the guild went on strike that we had the writers strike yes we did. so there's basically been no production in Nothing. in america apart from like some indie features since, and i'd like to well, say like since may, well like Ju- june july uh, may i think may eight, yeah end of may 824 yeah. came to a agreement or a settlement yes. with a bunch of i think writers and actors yeah they have these things in, called interim agreements mm. with indies because they were yeah. They weren't the big studios. No. Well, so, is A twenty four? Well, indie? no. I, I mean, I would agree that I think A twenty four is a, these, yeah. Days. Yeah, these days. These yeah. days. Yeah, these days. They they won the you know their film won a Best Picture. Yeah, the exactly. Oscars last I mean, year. they won the most Oscars, right? No. No. Oh. No. 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 But 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 like you said, like their film did win an Oscar, and and it's only proving that they are they're mounting to become like this. Yeah. Huge, huge studio. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're the next big thing, right? Are they going to be like Vice, where like people hate them in the future? I mean, I hope not. <laughs> they seem to be on a good track record at yeah. this point, right? They For seem the to be fun. doing well, Vice. What happened, man? Yeah, Vice. Yeah, what happened, word. Right? <laughs> I used to. Anyways, yeah. but uh, all, all that to say, I think w- hopefully this is a green light on a lot of work for a lot of people. Yes, and um, crews also- as well, not just actors and writers. Oh yeah, yeah. but crews have been yeah. really suffering. Yeah. Because yeah. You know, they're not involved in either of these contract yeah. disputes, yeah. but they're the ones who are also losing earnings. Well, of course. Yeah. Well, production. like, Raph over here, he uh, kindly gave me the contact of um, this person who was in charge of... Yeah, so uh, this person isn't an actor. He's not a... Uh, no, he, he he works in crew, he uh, works in crew mainly. Yeah. He, he he is an actor uh, formally. You know, he was trained... He We trained at the same school together in La Salle. Um, but he's a he's a he works in crew um, for some huge TV shows here in yeah. the UK in London, and yeah, I I, I yeah. thought I'd uh, you know so uh, yeah a few months ago uh, I was like looking for jobs you know like it was a bit of a struggle, um, but besides that I remember getting into this WhatsApp group for crews in the UK. It's not even in the US, and the everything that everyone was saying was like ah oh, like because of what's going on in the States, there aren't as many jobs anywhere else in the world because obviously there's like a domino effect that happens. Um, so it's yes, there are these like huge actors that are not in work and there are these huge writers and stuff, but it's honestly the people that down are... Down below. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I, I don't like to say down below, but like in the lesser known... Spheres. Spheres yeah, yeah. of Unsung. the... People. Un- the unsung, unsung heroes, heroes. Yeah, unsung exactly. heroes. the unsung yeah. heroes, like people who do makeup, lighting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, set design, yeah. location uh, scouting, yeah. location scouting, the Production people that accounting. drives the cars yeah. from, uh, sorry, not the cars, the transport, the, the transport. trucks, yeah. and, yeah. These the pe- the and these are the people whatever, for yeah. whom the concept of royalties, yeah, that's yeah. not a thing for them because no, they live not. paycheck to paycheck, paycheck to paycheck, shoot yeah. to shoot, project to project, yeah. for sure. They're always they're con- they're con- constantly hustling, and and one of which uh, was was Kevin. Who who had been a runner who had worked in produ- as production assistant, um, and he'd work for shows like You, for shows like um, Slow Horses, uh, which is a show I was uh, I I th- like. New season very, coming out soon. Yeah, very, it's December, right? Uh, Wait, what? See what? what Raph's are we are we allowed the voice to talk to about the... it now? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, I mean, okay. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in a brief a very brief no, segment. We, we, in we a... never said the name. Yeah, uh, yeah. but but anyways, okay. this is not about me. This is about. 
And yeah. I want to say Raph, that, like, please stop making it about you. Come yeah, on, dude. We're, we <laughs> like, it. reel it back a little we bit. Exactly. We get it. We're talking like, about. I'm an actor. Talk, yeah. I'm an actor. We're talking about. We're trying <laughs> to talk I, about. Can I do a Can I do a speech? Can I without. Can I perform a soliloquy for you guys? <laughs> yeah. um, but all that to say, uh, yeah, has been out of work, and 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 he. So I was trying to hook up uh, Jabril with with a job uh, in crew. Back to me and he said, "Like, dude, like uh, everything's shut down. I'm not working. Yeah. Like, we're it's a dire situation. It's very yeah. bleak right now." And I, I still like, got oh. added to the group, and then very it, cool. It, it wasn't just Kevin; it was everyone in the group. It was like, "Dude, no. sorry, no bueno, dude." Yeah. I mean, there were a couple not, of um, development and script editing uh, pages and groups that I'm a part of as well, where everyone was like, "It's bad. I haven't worked since April." Yeah, and this is like another country. So yeah, um, shout out to them. Shout it out, out to the negotiating yeah. community. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, again, we're we're I'm a world apart from this community, but yeah. it, the negotiating ta- uh, crew that was led by Fran Drescher. You know Fran Drescher? She's uh, the president of the SAG. Yeah, she's the nanny. She was the nanny, right? Yeah, yeah. She was the nanny. She was the one leading the negotiating. Well, she committee. she yeah. led some powerful speeches. I don't know if you've ever seen oh, some yeah, of her yeah. speeches. She was yeah. really, really an incredible leader. Paying those actors <laughs> now. <laughs> it's completely. Sorry, that was d- the yeah, worst. Yeah, it's completely like, <laughs> deflated that moving um, tribute to Fran Drescher yeah. that we were working uh, on. No, but what I did Hopefully see she never was listens. Um, Jack Black do a speech at like a fundraising event, and uh, they like he was trying to get people to sing, like to shout out songs that he could sing. Um, during this event and you know jack black he always has to like take off all his clothes and be in his little thong of course and yeah, everyone course. was like taylor swift taylor swift thinking that he wouldn't know it he's like taylor swift i know that song and he's like, hur, hur. <laughs> <It was> like <laughs> <laughs> i saw that video uh, dude it's, it's so good, good. i love i love jack and it was really funny like at Who one doesn't? point he was taking off his clothes and singing he saw someone with the phone he's like you you don't need to film this <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh but um yeah i guess um yeah that, it's that good t- to hear that this has been settled. Yeah. Is the 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 writer strike? I thought part no, of the it writer strike had been going, settled right? a few weeks ago. Yeah, oh, yeah. it has. Yeah. So the writers thing. have been back to work for about a okay. for about a month. Because I thought it was two unions that it, were striking. Yeah, two guilds. Two guilds. The writers right. guild and the actors guild. So, oh no, but I thought there were two writers groups. I mean, I don't know about that. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. You're so wrong. It's it's settled. All right. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. So All right. yeah. yeah. Yay. It's let's done. get back to work. Hopefully. Let's yeah. get back to work. Yeah. Let, 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 yeah. let the people work again in the industry. And let's make let's make fucking movies, right? Yeah. Let's make let's fucking, fucking movies. Let's make movies. Yeah. yeah. So on to the next one. Yeah. Um which is kind of a tra- what with trailer related, isn't it? Like yeah, uh, we wanted to talk about trailers because our, well, our, this was inspired by a by, conversation. Well, yeah, we yeah. had a conversation in our little WhatsApp group. Um it's called the, it's called the movie newbie. Yeah, it's called the movie newbie. As you, um, as, as you would have guessed. Yeah, unless we're on Instagram, then it's called Singa Boys. Um, <laughs> but uh, regardless Lame. of the fact, um, yeah, we were... Ba- basically, I have been trying to watch more trailers recently. I feel like I shouldn't wait on both Raph and Ollie to be like, hey, there's this, th- movie there's this new movie it's out. It's actually more Ollie these yeah. days, to be fair. Well, I feel like both of us. I feel like I've seen more movies than you. 100%. But I have not been good. Oh, like movies in the cin- in I've, the theaters. I've been very yeah. naughty. I've been very yeah, naughty. In general, yeah. Yeah, Raph doesn't like to leave his house. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know why. I'm yeah, he's here. like uh, <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes said I shouldn't watch this film. <gasps> I mean, it's, I've I've been I've been no, I've been bad. It's been it's been it's been um it's been bad. Yeah, it's been but bad. Regardless, I'm gonna go to Singapore and I'm going to watch so many movies yeah, and make yeah. up Shore for House. It. Yeah, yeah, oh, Village. Should. No, Gold no, no. Village. There's the one Gold in Village, baby. Gold, no, no, Great old city. <laughs> no, there's the one um, in the the Thai place. What's it called? Golden Mile? No. Fuck. What's it? It's like the the only indie cinema in Singapore. Oh, a project. The projector. The projector. Yeah, the projector. Yeah. Shout out the projector. Oh, oh that's the one in, uh, near Cafe, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, no, it's the Golden no, Mile. No, it's uh, it's Far it's like, Park. Like Arab Street. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, oh yes. Actually, okay, I know yeah. the one you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, anyways. Trailers. So, yeah. In the last few like weeks, I've been trying to watch more trailers, trying to see what's going on in the film universe. And I came across this trailer for the film The Killers, because I love Michael Fassbender. The Killer. The, the killer. killer. Singular. Oh, the Killer. Sorry, The Killer. Not The, the killers. killers is a band. 
Yeah. Mr. Brightside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Watch this trailer. It looks like a music video. Um, Coming yeah, no. out of my cage and I'm going to do a Josh Ford. <laughs> and Jabril's like, man, that's a really cool trailer. It is a good song. It is a good song. It reminds me of the, the last song in Zerka. Um, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just talking to Singapore just times. Yeah. Um, so I watched this because I love Michael Fassbender because I remember in the film 300... His like one of his only lines was like, "And we shall die in the shades." And I was like, "That's a cool line." This um, guy's going places. <laughs> this guy's going places. So then, great I bod. Think, yeah. So what he did afterwards was like, what, Doctor Do- not Doctor Doom, Iron, not Iron Man. No, you're close. You're close. Magneto. 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 And then he did, um, what is it? Uh, Shame. Glorious Bastard. Shame. Yeah, he worked uh, with Shame. Stephen Stephen Twelve McQueen. Years a slave. Twelve years yeah. slave. Um, what else did he do? Well, he's doing the Hitler, and I thought the trailer was pretty dope like i th- it's the first time that i watched the trailer and i was like oh i kind of understand the way you should edit a trailer or the way you can like bring in like with people like bring in people with a hook um using different cuts or different like zooming in zooming out like having an, an ensemble on the screen not showing too much but showing enough where it's interesting and i kind of wanted to talk to you guys about the art of trailers of trailer and making yeah so, like, for me, I think one of my favorite trailers that I've ever seen was for uh, Robert Pattinson's The Batman. Oh, that's, that it, was a cool trailer. It's a that cool a fucking cool trailer. trailer. It's because a very in well the background, trailer. you have, uh, what's the song? Something in the yeah. Way. yeah, Something in the Way by Nirvana. Yeah. By Nirvana. Yeah. It's, also, it's also a three-minute trailer, which sometimes I am very um, skeptic about, because I'm like, are they uh, okay. are just showing so, way too much. But if it's well-crafted... Trailer or teaser? What do you prefer? Teaser. Teaser. For sure, teaser. Trailer or teaser? Um, y- teaser in principle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for me, I think, like, if it's... I- I'd say also teaser as well, but, like, sometimes trailers... Like, for example, uh, what is it? What's the Flower Moon? What is it? Something like Killers that? of the Flower Killers Moon. Killers of the Flower Moon. Like, I watched the entire trailer, and I'm still like, what is this film about? Yes. Yeah. Again, a I well like crafted, a, yeah. a yeah. well crafted trailer will never reveal too much of the Personally, plot. Personally, I'm, I'm, I mean, I sometimes I, I feel like I shouldn't watch trailers because I, I'd love to experience a film completely unspoiled. Yeah. But um, I, I, I can't help myself. I like watching them. And There's an art yeah. to it. I There's like, an art and I love it. a really well cut trailer. And I think for me, a trailer should advertise the tone mm-hmm. and the 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 um i guess the vision or some mm. perhaps mm-hmm. or the style mm. Mm. rather than tell you everything that happens in the yeah. story and I spoil also, all of the beats yeah i also don't like trailers that are done by like a completely different team because then it feels like the movie is like well, an entirely well that's why i like movie. some of the best trailers and i guess we can get into this now yeah. but some of the best trailers are ones that are directed by the same filmmaker or team behind mm. the movie yeah. Yeah. so like david fincher who made who um who directed the killer yeah that film that we're just talking about he i think direct helps to edit the trailers for all of his own movies because he's such a perfectionist but he's also like editor first before he became a director and stuff no he was he's always been a director i I believe but he's Mm. just he's just very he's such a a tech head meticulous and he's so meticulous in his style that he, I imagine, somewhat of a control him. freak. Some would say, maybe, yes, you yes. know, like and definitely. so he imposes himself. I, I imagine on every stage of production, and he oversees the edits of his own trailers. And his trailers, I mean, are his trailers awesome. are fucking dope. So, like, if you were to ask me what some of my favorite trailers, two off the top of my head would be David Finch trailers, um, "Go with the Dragon Tattoo," which I shared with you guys, right. yep, which yep. Uh, has a, another has a great song over it, which is key to a good trailer as well. And then also um, the Social Network. Talking about uh, social teaser. network, the first, is the so first good. when they had that um, kids choir singing "Creep" by yes. Radiohead, yes. Yeah, yeah. and I think, yes. and I think in this teaser they didn't even really. Most of the time they weren't showing clips from the movie. It was just the image of Mark Zuckerberg played by Jesse Eisenberg coming onto screen, like fading. Well, into, it's yeah, so it's, good. it's um, I think for most of it is actually, I think what David Fincher tried to do was he got a bunch of people's. Uh, facebook statuses and he asked uh like obviously for the rights of it and then it just came on as like a yeah yeah, yeah. i don't know like a slideshow where good thing you didn't you ask for my status look at yeah. facebook statuses and stuff <laughs> and especially yeah it was out of the time where it was like 
uh, your name is feeling yeah. is, you know, like, Do you get a lot of them coming up now because that was all like 10 plus years ago on, on anniversaries and stuff? Oh, oh sometimes. I don't, I don't Some... even have Facebook. Like, I yeah, don't I don't really look Facebook at Facebook at anymore, yeah. oh, but man. my app doesn't even want to open anymore, which is probably a telltale sign of like, yeah, let yeah. it go, bro. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> like, I went on to my Facebook account the other day and it was like, look at what happened 13 years ago or 14 years yeah. ago. And I was like, Oliver Mangum is loving the Kaiser Chiefs in yeah. concert. <laughs> <laughs> And that's you know that's that's that I guess that's dating myself know. a lot there yeah. as well because yeah. you got the Facebook, but then also I mean, going to see Kaiser Chiefs kind of cool, kind of cool. Yeah, dude, cool, I love cool Kaiser kid. Chiefs. Yeah, cool kid, still, yeah. I don't know. I haven't listened to their stuff yet. Because I'm so stuff. naive, yet yeah, so. <laughs> No, that's not that. Wait, that's, oh, that's Kooks. Not. That's the Kooks, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Kaz Chiefs is... Um, I protect the riot. I, I protect the riot. riot. British. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> um, But uh, I, I, I'll I, go with my with some of my favorite trailers. And actually, uh, some of my favorite trailers are like franchise-based. Uh, so... Are you Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Well, it's... Uh, I, w- I was going to yeah. say some Marvel films for sure. I think... The uh, Planet of the Apes trilogy has made some terrific trailers. Mm. Um, I love those trailers. They're New so one good. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that also looks great. That looks like a fucking great... Mm. Uh, tra- that's a tra- well-made trailer. But I, th- this one always... like I, I even watch it sometimes just for the fun of it. But it's the... Um, it's the Infinity War trailer and the Endgame trailer. The Infinity War trailer was so good. Yeah, they are and pretty good. And because it was like, I think it was the culmination of having experienced 10 years of Marvel. Yeah. And then you get this motherfucking trailer. Yeah. And this motherfucking trailer also lies because it edits the Hulk. Yeah. Uh, make, make, make you think that the Hulk's going to be in it, but really yeah, it's yeah. not. So there's a bit of a ploy there. Well, that's what Marvel does. Yeah, yeah, they do do that. But I'm like... That trailer, dude, like with the music coming out and them all running, and I'm like, that's one trailer that gets you hyped for a film. Yeah, yeah. And like some trailers can really do that, can really promote the hype Calm for a down. film. This well, isn't Comic Con, well, guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> yeah, Infinity War. <laughs> I mean, well, dude. Well, dude, there is. I was well, I was in that crowd when that movie came out, and I, ch- I when Captain America came out for the first time, <laughs> grabbed that spear. I was the first one who went, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> epic. You're like, this is my D Day, <laughs> dude. Honestly, like they. Uh, the Barbie was the last kind of like, and that was not even a com- culmination of things. That was just pure marketing brilliance, where yeah. like people came went to the cinema to like experience something. Yeah. Marvel was honestly w- like the last time I experienced like someone clapping for a fucking logo coming out, yeah, and being like, yeah, yeah. I think the yeah the last time, yeah, Barbie, that's on attention. I'm on attention now. Yeah, Barbie, Infinity War, and Endgame. Uh, probably the last two Harry Potter films. Yeah, they were good trailers, um, actually. Yeah, those are yeah. Those so like are the franchise ones are, yeah, and like and like ending ending yeah. trailers. You know, no, but I like mean, the... I mean, like there's a there's a trailer that brought us together as well. The oh, infamous uh, Tom oh, Cruise. The uh, <laughs> <laughs> trailers can also be hilarious. Uh, yeah, they can Shabriel, also be Can terrible. you please at this point? Yeah, when you're editing this episode, can you edit in like the clip from the from the Am I gonna? Okay, I think I'll try and edit you, you in the, the it, yeah. without music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. for I feel like we've talked about this on the podcast for before, sure, but there's sure. there's a trailer. There was a trailer <laughs> that came out for the um the long forgotten. The Mummy, starring Tom Cruise, back when they tried the to get reboot. Universal monsters off the ground. They did, yeah. And Dark Universe, um, fail. Yes, the Dark Universe, yeah, epic fail. And um, the trailer was edited. The sound in the trailer was edited really weird. And so someone like stripped out the music, and the noises that are coming out of Tom Cruise's mouth yeah. in that trailer yeah. are just. Well, I mean, it has to be heard to be believed. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it for you guys right now, and um, yeah. Pan, pan, this is November 4, zero, niner, niner. What the hell? Ah! <laughs> 
Yeah, so I hope you like that. Uh, <laughs> Should we end it there? Should we end our conversation about trailers there? I mean, I mean you can't top that. No. Yeah, you can't top that. We sure. kind of have to talk about your theme, bro. No, oh, no, no, as, in like, the as in ending the trailer yeah, conversation. Yeah, the trailer conversation. I was yeah, like, yeah, shit, yeah, we're yeah. ending the bonus yeah. right here. No, no, right no. Now. But I mean, um, yeah, franchises do a good job. David Fincher does a good job. Um, Paul Thomas Anderson. Yeah, yeah. Paul Thomas Anderson. That's great. Yeah, um, absolutely. Trailers. Chris, Christopher Nolan. I just oh, remember the the, um, the Dark Knights, the, dude. The yeah, Dark Knights. Uh, also the uh, Inception. I remember the trailer Inception. for that. I was gonna say Inception. We were yeah. so you and me, yeah. Raf sitting oh, yeah. in um, in the cinemas in oh, Singapore. Yeah. We were so hyped for that, dude. Uh, well, that, Cloverfield. That Cloverfield. Yes, <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that Dude, is that, that is one of the top. Tra- that is that is a top five trailer. That was a top five trailer right there. Cornfield is really good. I thought like no. So even just the uh, there's, you there's read no, my fucking mind, bro. Um, yeah, no. What was I gonna say? Cloverfield. Even the way they just released the film because it wasn't just a trailer. They even had like weird websites where they yeah. made it seem as if like yeah, yeah, yeah. something was going down. I think they had uh, like. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was before iPhone or it was like iPhone one or iPhone two. And they made like an app for it. This was like back in the day when they were like, we need to do everything and every platform and blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Cloverfield, uh, that was a really good one. And what happened to yeah. that universe? Eh? They, uh, they really I, tried they're coming out with another one soon. Oh, really? Yeah. But in the same universe, but I, I can't remember what it was called. Remember Cloverfield paradox. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> I never watched it. Oh, Jesus. I just watched it out of pure curiosity of like, why? What does this have to do with Cloverfield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the problem there that they'd taken a bunch of like scripts for films that had nothing to do with Cloverfield, nothing. or like, and ten Cloverfield were, like Cloverfield what if, what, Yeah, th- that was a script that had nothing to do with Cloverfield. Yeah. Like, what if we just added a five minute section onto the end where it was part of the Cloverfield universe? And like, still, and it actually worked though. Ten Cloverfield Lane was good. Yeah. Ten Cloverfield Lane was dope, but because because it was not about Cloverfield. Yeah. The <laughs> last five minutes of that film, I did not understand. I was like, how is this a Cloverfield film? Yeah. Well, that's. I that's, do not get it. Like, I think that's what they're trying to go for. It's like, yeah, we'll make anything Cloverfield. Yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's one of those. But, but yeah. Um. Yeah. So I guess we can go to what we've been watching. Raph um, clearly hasn't been watching anything. Fucking nothing. <laughs> I've been watching a lot. If I'll, I'll go first, but I'll, go I'll, ahead, I'll, go ahead. there's been it's been so much um, that I'll try to try and whiz through it rather quickly. Um, so yeah, we Jabril and I um, have been picking up the slack and going to the cinemas and other people good stuff, because guys. we are good entering um, awards season, yep. and so a bunch of good films are being dropped in cinemas as we speak. So I've seen a, a few really good ones. Uh, just to name a couple that I really enjoyed, I saw Killers of the Flower Moon, uh, the new oh. Martin Scorsese joint. I saw that at um at an Everyman Cinema um, about I think it was last week, last Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, I remember it was. The um, yeah, <laughs> Raph remembers. Um, that was great. I I really really love that film. It is a a towering cinematic achievement. Uh, three and a half hours long, but you know what? It deserves that Seamless. one time. Yeah, yeah. I saw Past Lives as well recently, which is a wonderful movie, Celine Song. Um, we're, you know, this is actually uh, segues quite nicely into what we're going to be talking about for the next theme. But it's sort of a, uh, I guess like a, you, I wouldn't call it a love story. It's about two people who reconnect after years of being apart and who come from Korea, but one of them moved to America when they were kids. Mm-hmm. Um, beautiful movie, really wonderful story. Um, and then... Lastly, I'll just give a shout out to Bottoms. This isn't a film I watched in cinemas. I watched this at home. Any of you seen Shiver Baby? Shiver Baby. No, yeah. I've heard of it. I've, I've heard, heard of it. it. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. well, this is the direct writer-director's follow-up to that. Mm. Okay. And it's got Rachel Sennett in it, who was the star of um, of Shiver Baby. And it's got Ayo Edebiri, who was who plays Sydney in The Bear. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And okay. this is like a straight-up high school comedy. But it is raunchy, and it is out there i mean i would tell you the premise but even that i feel like is a spoiler it was really good i really really liked it so you're looking for a good time you want to laugh your ass off but you also want to um you want to watch something that's i'll just say it un pc very un pc love it i would uh i would suggest it and then uh yeah one more thing just a tv thing i watched a docuseries called telemarketers that was produced by the safety oh shit which was awesome great really loved it so side note on that my cousin produced some of that. No yeah. shit. Whoa. Really? Yeah. 
Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Because oh it my wasn't god! Yeah, I don't know. Oh, this is that yeah. cousin of yours that like works in documentaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! No look All right, at we're that. gonna have a conversation. Yeah, about that later. yeah. We're to... Okay, quick thing from future Jabril here, editing Jabril. But yeah, I totally lied about this. Um, I was unsure. I think I just spoke to my producer cousin about this documentary, but we, he never actually produced it. He does produce stuff, but not this one. So yeah, back to the regular programming. Dude, we should get him on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, if he's not fucking working all the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. If Plus, he's... yeah, he was. There was an issue with everything that was going on in the states, as we have spoken about. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. But uh, nice. great. That's, well, that's tell him I great... said, "Well done." Tell yeah. that was a fantastic <laughs> yeah. series. And, and tell him I said hi. Yeah, I will. I will. I will and tell him sure. I asked him what What's he's wearing. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> like, how how you doing? Um, but yeah, fat. Fat stack with those with those films. Those those sound great. Yeah, um, fatter than my stacks. Uh, okay, so I think the last time we spoke, uh, I mean, I didn't really give that much. But since then, I've watched loads of like short films. Um, so I went. Oh and yeah, saw, yeah, you did. You um, go. Strange way of life. I watched that in a Curzon. Since mm-hmm. did you did you go to Curzon or Every Man? Did you say Every Man? Every Man. I went to the Curzon. Uh, there was also like a special Q and A with Almodovar afterwards, which was longer than the fucking film. Nice, um, but it, it was really cool, like just to see the, um, or just to hear the insight into such a incredible director. Yeah, talking about the art of a short film, mm. and he was saying like, with a short film, you have so much more creative. Uh, creative freedom to do what you want because that's like a simple storyline that you have to write um so strange way of life was great like uh ethan hawk pedro pascal pedro pascal like both of them were just incredible gotta love them and it's also like kind of like a little uh broke back mountain kind of kind of vibe um to the to the film yeah but in the modern sense um Mm. it was great film i i really loved the how do i say the uh cinematography of it yeah yeah yeah, for me the way it looks has always been really good nice and then last week i had well a few weeks ago um it doesn't matter to anyone who's listening because you don't even know what the weeks are dude time is relative bro um (laughs) i went to this uh it's a part of the indian film festival in london and uh there's this production house or i guess film and tv studio called the corner shop and they did two beautiful um short films one is more of a documentary and it was actually kind of like a bait and switch you think something's gonna happen but it's something else completely that one was called holy cowboys and it was directed by varun chopra and it's basically about um i I don't want to i don't want to ruin what the documentary is but basically it's about people in india who have like taken it upon themselves to go and protect stray cows that are like walking around uh on the streets and stuff and they try and like protect them and give them food and whatnot but nice. the documentary is not what you think yeah okay um, right on. and then the second one who which was honestly one of the most thought-provoking things i've ever seen it's a Ke- quebecois yeah quebecois. A Ke- a quebecois production um also from the corner shop it's called invincible and it's just this incredibly touching yet heartbreaking uh, story about, uh, I guess, a juvenile kid um, dealing with his mental health. So yeah. if out of all of these three, you want to watch something, I would say Invincible and get your yeah. tissues ready. Oh, fuck yeah. And do you, do, is there anywhere where you can watch this yet? Do you know? I am not sure because I think they're doing the uh, award. Like the festival. Yeah, the award round. stuff yeah. right now. Um, but if you can, maybe just go on the corner shop. I mean, the thing with, sh- with short films, you know, like if you just contact them, I feel like they'll be like, hey, here's a Here's link, a screener, or, yeah. Here's mm-hmm. a screen that you can watch it at or this is the way. So if you want... I mean, don't call Almodovar because he won't pick up, but yeah. try uh, the Oh, Pedro. Shop. Pedro. Pedro will pick up. Yeah, Pedro. What yeah, about you? Pedro go way back. Yeah. Hockey. What about hockey? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Good old hawk. Good old hawks. Yeah. Good old hawks, man. Man like Ethan. That yeah. guy still owes me money. <laughs> um, um, Raph, what have you got? That's really cool. I, I was going to say, Jabril, like, I'm, I'm so proud of you, dude. Um, yeah. But if you, if you liked shorts, uh, have you ever heard of Omeletto? 
uh, they're 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 kind of a channel. I think they're a channel on YouTube, but they're more of a company, and they uh, exclusively kind of produce. Sorry, can I add one more? Yeah, go. I also watched a short which came out like three or four years ago, and it's a Bobby Lee short. Oh, there we go. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's. You like I don't the- know what it's called, but it's him in a hotel room, and it's like Valentine's Day. Right on. Um, I don't know. Just go on YouTube. Search, yeah. Search Bobby Lee short. He's a great actor. Hey, yeah, I'm I mean, sure he is. I'm sure yeah. he is. It's it's it was it was really surprising to see him mm. in that way. But yeah, but sorry. so yeah, if you do like your shorts, um, check out Amaletto. They make some brilliant uh, shorts that so shorts with like famous mm. actors. They they had the the guy in the bear, um, the main the main actor, the main chef. Yeah. Uh, I forget He's his name hot. now. Jeremy Allen White. Jeremy Allen White. Yeah. Uh, but they 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 produce some like uh, really high budget shorts with like. S- somewhat a-listers uh but really really um deep personal and quite spiritual shorts um nice. really really good stuff so if you like your shorts check it out what have i been watching <sighs> look also there's another there's another short uh i, I want to give a shout out to this uh movie because it's been getting a lot of buzz and i was, I was really surprised by it it's a, it's a movie is a project that i was very fortunate to collaborate on and i know my ego is inflating right now but i have to give a shout out to this film um is this kyle's film no, this oh. is no this is no Mercy Sweetheart, uh produced oh, by Neon yeah, International really Films. Cool. Um and look, I, it, it's a film that I did not think was going to, you know, I, I I didn't know. I didn't know what to think about with, with with it. You know, it was kind of in production hell. It was taking a long time to be to to, to, to put together. I remember when you went to go shoot your scenes for this. Yeah. That was like a, like over a year ago, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it was over a year ago and um it was just one of those things where I was like, I don't know if this I'm going to see the light of day, but it finally got produced. And he and 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 the director Antonio, Italian director, um, brilliant dude. He started putting it out in festivals just to get a feeler, right? The next minute, it's getting all these like you know selections, nominations, mm. blah blah blah. And I'm like, what wow. the fuck? And it recently got um, a nomination in New York in uh, at AMC in New York. No uh, way. Uh, for action films, uh, like for action short films uh, festival, mm-hmm. uh, which seems to be a pretty reputable uh, festival uh, circuit, and yeah, and it's showcasing in New York. Amazing. Yeah, so that's, that's like awesome. really cool. Like I can't wait to see the whole thing then. Yeah, so yeah, no, no mercy, sweetheart. Uh, give a shout out to Antonio and to Neon International Films. Uh, but now, what have I been watching? D- dog shit. No, I I have actually. You know what? It was Halloween a couple of weeks ago, so I won my Halloween bender. And I watched a lot of Halloween films, a lot of scary. Yeah. That's, that's something so, I don't get. Well, I I yeah, thought it, you know like I was Halloween in the mood, films. you know, yeah. like the the fucking moon was you know in retrograde <laughs> or whatever. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was Halloween. and I was feeling spooky. Now I'm like, let me watch some scary shit because that's my only invitation to actually attempt, like to attempt to watch horror movies. Because I'm right, like you, I'm right. a bit of a wimp. Yeah. So I started with Talk to Me. You know, this movie that has been getting a lot of buzz by these um, Australian directors from Adelaide, uh, Filippo, uh, the Filippo brothers, who, again, came from doing YouTube, uh, YouTube like sketches and, yeah. and, and skits. And their shit is out there on mm-hmm. YouTube, like hella out there. But there's a brilliance to their directing. And I did not think that they were going to achieve such a spectacular and haunting film as, as Talk to Me. It's so, so fucking good. Um, brilliant performances and just a fucking great haunting story. Like yeah. that ending to that movie. Oh my god! Um, um, that uh, that contender for last. Oh, best e- like final shot of the year. One hundred percent, and also like a twenty four. Yeah. Um, and then I watched uh, one of my favorite South American directors, Pablo Larraín. He came out with El Conde, um, it, which is a story about uh, Pinochet. Oh, I've, but I've been wanting to watch this. Very good. Very absurd. Uh, the kind of absurdist comedy about uh, Pinochet, the dictator yeah, yeah, in yeah. Chile, who, what if he was a vampire and what if he lived oh, no for way. 250 yeah. years? But he's like kind of, he's sick of and tired of like being, yeah. you know, being immortal. Yeah. Uh, so very, it's kind of uh, abs- like uh, what is it? What we do in the shadows, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Essentially, essentially, it's got it's got a dark humor. It's it's bloody as well, and it's it's really spectacularly shot. And there's some footage of like um, Pinochet literally flying over the skylines of of Santiago in Chile. Yeah. And it's some of the best like fucking flying shots I've ever seen. I'm like Superman each each shit. Like mm. this is these are the yeah. shots that you want. 
Um, and it's also featuring like Margaret Thatcher as a vampire as well. It's fucking, wow. it's bonkers. It's I out there. I love that idea. Nice. Um, and Paolo Loren, like he's, he's a personal favorite of mine. And then uh, I had never watched this film, but I felt like this was uh, on Halloween. I had to on the 31st. I was like, this is quintessential Halloween. The Crow. Brandon mm. Lee's The Crow. Never seen it. Never seen it. Never seen it. Um, and how influential indeed. Uh, so I was pretty galvanized by this film. Uh, but and, and also terrified by it. Because I was like, how the fuck did they make this film? It looks dangerous. Yeah. Like, it looks like a dangerous <laughs> Is that a horror film? Or is it like, I always thought it was like an action film. Yeah, it's like a horror action. I've never seen it. Um, it's also so. kind of the first comic book-y. Um, yeah. Uh, based it's based on, it's based on a graphic book. novel. Yeah. Uh, and isn't that the film where... the Brandon Lee was killed. Yes, during the yeah, yeah, during the production of the film, um, shot uh, yeah. with uh, well, what, what what was a real gun? Someone let Alec Baldwin in on that set. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> unf- uh, sorry, you cut unfor- that out. yeah, you couldn't resist. <laughs> Dirk, but oh, it's shit. also fe- Alec, Alex. Around. Damn it, Alec! <laughs> <laughs> but this film was also featuring uh, Warriors. Warriors. Yeah, yeah, our our good old David Patrick Kelly, it's a and big it's. Show. And it's just, um, yeah, it's just a very impressionistic film. Like, I understand its cult status for sure. Uh, yeah. And I would highly recommend it. And also, like, Brendan Lee, I had never seen any of his films. Mm-hmm. What a fucking stud. I was yeah. like, damn, that dude. <laughs> like, that dude, yeah, would have gone places. Gone too soon. Yeah. I mean, he, and he, yeah, he was remarkable in this film. Um, so, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it, just, it took me down oh. the, the rabbit hole of the Lee, well, the Lee family. Those are a couple of great horror films. I'm yeah. Really, Really happy as well yeah. that you um, psych yeah. yourself up to do it. Again, to I'm sit on... down and, wa- and get into that genre on Halloween. Yeah, yeah. It's my and favorite I, time of the year. Yeah, and and you, you know, I do watch films. I watch films on a weekly basis. I just, I, I am bad at going out there and watching films for yeah. sure. Like going to the cinema. No, that's for sure. We'll we'll yeah. make sure we all go to the cinema often yeah. together. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, should I just talk about my theme so we can yeah, wrap this episode yeah. up? Yeah. Let's, let's let's go to your let's theme. Let's do it. Nah. Um. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it's my turn again to pick the theme for this episode. Sorry, for the... Can I do that again? Yeah, go ahead. So, yeah, it's my um, turn again to pick the next theme that we're going to be discussing over three episodes on The Movie Newbie. I am excited about this one. And this is a theme that I have been toying with doing since... I think like the beginning of the podcast. I swear, I think you. This is like over choose, three years ago. I think you wanted to choose this one of the films the, the, for our first theme. Yeah, there yeah. is a Google Doc that exists somewhere on my drive. Yes, where I wrote down a bunch of ideas for genres or themes that we could do. Mm-hmm. And Korean New Wave was nearly at the top. So yeah. there, I've just said it. We're doing Korean New Wave. Woo! From um, French New Wave to Korean New Wave. From France exactly. to Korea. We're we're getting a little yeah. bit more international on this. We are. On, we are. Well, we well finally, the latest stretch. Yeah, episodes. and we're going back to Asia. It's been yeah. a while. Yeah. I, I I mean I feel. Like our conversations about Asian films have always been some of our most fruitful and productive and interesting. Yeah. And Korean cinema is just something I've been obsessed with for a long time. I've always loved Eastern cinema in general, but you know, even if you're only like sort of a casual movie fan, you'll have noticed that Korean cinema has been getting a lot of attention. It was only a few yeah, not, years ago. Not just Korean cinema, but Korean That's media. True. Oh, well, yeah. Korean, yeah. Po- yeah. Korean, pop, Korean pop, culture. pop culture. Yeah. yeah. But there, but that goes beyond what's just been happening the last few years. There has been a movement that's been bubbling in Korea for the last 25 years where they are produ- their filmmakers out there have been making some of the most interesting work mm-hmm. on the scene. And I really got in, got obsessed with that movement about, um, well, I think when I was in university. And so now I count, to this day, I count a lot of my favorite films to be Korean films. So I wanted to show some love for this next theme. And so we're doing Korean New Wave, as I like to call it. And for those three films, we are doing... I wanted to give a spread between a couple, three of the different Korean masters. Mm-hmm. So to start off, and we're going chronological too, we're going with 2003's Memories of Murder by Mr. Bong Joon-ho, mm-hmm. also known as Director Bong, yeah. the guy who did Parasite and won a couple of Oscars for it. Was that Okja as well? Yeah. He, he yeah, directed Okja, director, he directed The Host, he directed Mother, mm-hmm. he directed... Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer, oh, which shit, I, yeah. I love. Um... That movie doesn't get enough love. Um, so we're going to start with that. Then we're going to go and do Old Boy, which I think quite a few more people know. A lot of people, Because yeah. it got remade in America. Terrible remake. Terribly. By, but Old Boy, by Spike Lee. Yeah, but also Old Boy is just one of those films that really broke out, I think, and first started getting attention as like a Korean genre film. Right. So that's Park Chan-wook, um, another one of the Korean masters. Mm. And then we're going to end it. We're going to skip ahead a few years and end it with Lee Chang-dong's Burning, which came out in 2019. Amazing. So Burning is... 
I, I, I don't want to hype it up too much, but Burning is probably my favorite movie of the last, um, I don't know, 10, 15 years. Mm. Wow. Mm. And mm. that was that came out the same year as uh, Parasite. And Parasite's a great film, but I think Burning is was yeah. like the real Korean masterwork of that mm. year. Anyway, I don't want to, you know, jump ahead and steal the, from the conversations that we're going to be having later. But um, I'm just really excited to show these movies to yeah. you guys. What a I'm, selection, I'm honestly man. super excited. What a selection. I, I've always wanted to get into Korean films or just like Asian films in general. Yeah. Because uh, like what? We've done we've done Elo Elo. We've done Well, Uncle just the Boomy. Southeast Asian gems. Yeah. No, we've done Infernal Affairs. Affairs. Yeah. In, the mood for, was, in the Mood for Love. In, in the Mood for Love. Um, the Raid. Have we done any Japanese films? No, no, no. I, that's, no, we have it. That's a theme I think maybe reserved for me because anime. The, yeah. Well, the Akira, yeah. the Akira, mm. the Akira, <laughs> the Akira, <laughs> the Akira theme is is still right. Akira Kurosawa. I mean. Yeah. Oh, Kurosawa. We have yeah, we to have do to do Kurosawa. Kurosawa. Yeah. Yeah. We will. I think that's we another will. Masters. Right? That's another Masters because we haven't yeah. done a Masters in a while. In yeah. a while, yeah. So Kurosawa um, might be next. And watch out, Jabril. These are long films. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you're in now. You're yeah, in. Yeah, I'm in now. Yeah, I'm yeah. in now. Halas, it's easy, easy, my <laughs> man. It's uh, what you want: short film, long film. I want <laughs> film period. Okay. So uh, d- before I, oh yeah, no, well, I can't. <laughs> uh, well, from the light note to the very <laughs> heavy note. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to make this work. Um, no. Uh, but yeah, just before we go. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, give us the five star ratings. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to say bye to us until the next episode. Um, but before we before we leave, I just wanted to again reiterate my support for what's going on in the world right now. I mean, we're seeing um, conflicts and um, I don't know, just actions of oppression all over all over the world like obviously there's the israeli occupation of palestine right now but then there's this also this ongoing conflict in azerbaijan and armenia if i'm not mistaken mm-hmm. or is it albania mm. armenia i think Arme- yeah. ah shit i should i should be better informed but i mean there's just a lot going on in the world right now mm. and I just wanted to stand in solidarity with the people who are being oppressed. Yeah. And, uh, and there's yeah. a march tomorrow in London at noon if, you know. Oh, well, this isn't well, coming, this out. Is coming out. Well, this is coming out. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to go fuck myself now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, I mean, just try and support the cause wh- whichever way you can. I mean, we if you can donate, donate. If you can sh- spread, spread the word. Spread, spread the information. The yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't know what else to say. Nope. No, that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I could yeah. have said it better myself. There you go. Yeah. Spread. Um, spread the information. Yeah. S- support yeah. and spread the information. And on that note, ciao, ciao for now. See you guys later. And the next film is going to be Memories of Murder. So, yeah. See you later. Don't be a hater. Exactly. <laughs>